when I was about 16 or so, I was uh, playing around these lanes and uh, I was wearing an M43 American Army jacket and I got caught up in the rain and it rained really hard, you know, it was bouncing off the ground. So uh, I made my way down the lane as, as quick as I could and uh, I got to this bridge here which is number 72 on the Bracken Canal and uh, here we go oh, let me see that I'm going to fall in a canal number 72 and just down the lane down that way is where I used to live in a village called Goitra in between Abergavenny and Ponypool and uh, after the rain, after I, after the rain eased off a bit, I went back home, and I took the jacket off because it, it was raining hard, and I was in it for, only for about 15 minutes, but uh, it was raining really hard, and I took the jacket off, and uh, the jacket was dry inside, and I thought, oh, that's okay, and I just didn't think that, didn't think too much of it, but. Uh, at the time of <coughs> being 16 or whatever but um, I always remembered it and uh, the only bit that was wet was the cuff about an inch and a half at the cuff but that's the, the, the width of the cuff anyway and um, just under the hem a little bit now uh, these these the only difference between the M65 I think and the M43 is well I, from what I can remember is it had uh, double pointed collars like a like a, a suit a double pointed collars and when it was done up properly there was a, a dovetail shaped so I'll put the collars up and it was all done up like this there was a dovetailed shaped piece of material same as this with two buttonholes on the ends and you could button it up to close that bit up there and the cuffs by your wrists weren't like that they they were button cuffs and uh, and the liner didn't go as far as that, it just came, the liner went as far just off the cuff. cuff. And, uh, and also, let's think now, it was that, the cuff, the collars, oh the pockets, the top pockets, they weren't bellow pockets like these, they had the flap like that, but it was actually a fake pocket. It's just a flap and nothing else. So um, I, I looked on eBay lately and I'd realized that I didn't know at the time when I was wearing that jacket at 16 or so, but I realize now that it was a woman's jacket. So <laughs> we'll say no more about that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's down as, I think it's eBay or Amazon, it's down as a it's down as a, 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 a nurse's jacket so but it looks exactly like a guy's army jacket anyway so today I was going to do the same experiment and show you how waterproof the uh, M65 jacket is because the, the let's get under this bridge echoing because um, it's they're made the same they're just slightly different in design so uh, oh, let's go back to I'll go back this way but unfortunately echo 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 one two three <laughs> uh, unfortunately um, <coughs> it's not raining enough as far as I'm concerned so I was gonna test this jacket today but it wasn't it's not rainy enough so I'm gonna I'm gonna choose another day and another location and get straight into it, probably on the mountain, out the way, and see how it goes. And um, by the way, I uh, I haven't waxed this jacket at all. It it is as it 
came out the box. So uh, they're still making them. Uh, they're made by uh, Alpha Industries, which is the uh, original manufacturer in them days, years ago. And uh, they're still making them now. So, uh, no, I don't think for the military, I'm not sure, but uh, they're still making them with the same spec, so you, you can get them. And uh, it's, this, this jacket is not really um, a popular jacket in the UK. I, I, don't think, think, I don't think it is anyway, because in all of my life, I've only seen two people wearing these, pe <coughs> wearing these jackets in the street. And they were fake ones anyway. They looked very similar, but they were fake. So uh, it's not a popular jacket. So I just thought I'd, I'd do that again. I'd go in the rain. In the, it was going to be in the same place, but uh, it's not raining enough. So um, I'll choose another day and uh, probably on the hills, I expect. But uh, yeah, and I. Do the same thing again and show you how waterproof the M65 jacket is. Okay, stick around.
Well, I've just come home now. Uh, I couldn't do this recording in the car. It was too dark and um, it was rain, still raining outside, so I, I couldn't do this, uh, give you the answer outside, so I had to come home. And the result is, is the M65 waterproof? The answer is no. <laughs> nope, it's not waterproof. I suppose when I was a kid, um, I was in it for about 15 minutes or so, but today I was in the rain, it's had quite hard rain as well, for three hours roughly, around about three hours, and it is absolutely soaking on the inside. I don't know whether you can see that properly, but it is, it's absolutely soaking, and uh, I don't know whether you can see I've turned it inside out. So there you go, it is not waterproof. I mean, it's a good jacket, good solid jacket for uh, gardening and bushcraft and survival if you want to do that for the day in the freezing weather or uh, dry weather. Uh, and uh, Or if you're a farmer or something, or fishing, shooting, hunting, all that sort of stuff, horse riding even, maybe. Um, even if you're a lorry driver, it'd be a good jacket, you know, you'd have to put a high-vis vest on. You go on site but uh, there you go anyway the jacket is not waterproof it is soaking on the inside <laughs> now the m65 parker hood can fit on the m65 jacket uh it says that on the label in here so it, it's okay it will fit properly um there's a couple of differences between the parker and the hood the only one i know really is the fact that it's just what it says on the label there it's just two buttons on the inside attachments instead of four which is another one there and another one there so i suppose the parker would have another button there and down there but um Anyway, like all military gear, it's uh, it's very well made and it'll last a long, long time. But uh, the only thing is, it's it's a little bit big, really. Uh, it looks a bit ridiculous, you know, on the jacket. Now, if you was in the middle of nowhere and you was in the weather, you'd be glad of it. But if you was just doing a bit of bushcraft for the weekend, or a bit of fishing, you know, uh, or gardening, and wearing this jacket with this hood, it, it might look a little bit ridiculous, to be honest with you. It's it's actually made to go over a helmet, and it says all this on the label there. And and you, you could put this got drawstrings, not only for around the face, around the front of the head there. It's got drawstrings here that goes that pulls it around the head as well you see that so you can you, you could it's made for going over a cap as well but really it's 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 too big it's too big it's not it, it looks a bit ridiculous on the jacket like i said if you was a bit desperate in in the weather that's fine but uh in everyday use outdoors it looks a bit ridiculous so um yeah it's a bit big so uh i'll take it off and then you can see how it's attached then so let's see if i can straighten this out a bit it's, it's got an attachment there just on the on the edge of this pocket here so i'll take that off and sort of the same on the other side, but it's a pop button, snap button. There you go, I'll take that off. And it's got the two buttons on the inside. I'll just take them off one-handed, like we do. And the other attachments are the four buttons on the collar. So there's that one on the edge there. 
that one on the other edge of the collar and the two going over the top of the shoulder there so I'll just take them off you know, they're in, in line with the lapel look there you go so that's that so they you see how it was attached two button button holes there and there and that one there and the two buttons on the inside and that snap button there pop button which you're thinking what the hell's that for well now you know it's for the hood and that button there you might think what the hell's that for well it's for the hood so there you go but uh, yeah the hood a bit massive really it's fake fur so uh, but anyway personally I think it's too big you know for everyday use it I, I think really there's a gap in the market to be honest with you and come on Alpha Industries you've got to you've got to make a proper hood for these jackets I mean something I personally like something sort of simpler like this maybe with a little peak not not waxed maybe or brown or I'm not saying that but the, the, the design just a simpler hood just like that just so we can attach it you know it's a bit longer so I have buttons on the hood so you're going to attach it to <coughs> the jacket and uh, maybe maybe in conjunction with the, the hood on the in the inside of here so you can use either this one or both of them together if uh, if need be you know you, you can, the choice is yours shall I get it out with one hand can I do this because this hood this hood is just no good it's just the same it's the same material as this inner liner really it's not waterproof it's like the thickness of a shirt really <coughs> so um but if it, it, it could go in with that you know but uh yeah i've messed it all up now but there you go i mean it needs a a, a plainer sort of hood because this jacket is uh it's a really good jacket um but the hood just don't cut the mustard really so uh, <coughs> there you go that's what i think of the hood and there's also a gap in the market there so come on someone alpha industries or anybody really get a make a hood for the m65 jacket never know you might make yourself a lot of money